Hey there. Once again, I am Jesse Dollimore, host of the podcast I Doubt It With Dollimore. Listen, there's a woman out there. You may have seen her. Her name is Tommy Laren. She released a video that's insensitive and arguably racist in a rant about this year's Super Bowl halftime show featuring Beyonce. It couldn't go ignored by me. Let's break it down piece by piece. First it was hands up, don't shoot. Then it was burning down buildings and looting drug stores, all the way to Oscar so white. And now even the Super Bowl halftime show has become a way to politicize and advance the notion that black lives matter more. Goddamn. Listen, Tommy, let's talk. White person to even whiter person. Black Lives Matter doesn't mean Black Lives Matter more. Black Lives Matter means Black Lives Matter too. It's meant more to be kind of a, hey guys, don't forget about us. We're Americans too, and we deserve respect, dignity, and equal justice under the Constitution, just like everybody else. You merely saying it means something it does not doesn't make it so. Also, you're from the very small and very white town of Rapid City, South Dakota. According to the 2000 census, your hometown's population is less than 1% black. You're not exactly an expert. This isn't about equality. This is about ramrodding an aggressive agenda down our throats and using fame and entertainment value to do so. What do you think you and your ilk are doing, Tommy? You're absolutely ramrodding an aggressive agenda down America's throat while using fame and entertainment value to do so. Are you that blind to the rampant hypocrisy of your own words? Beyonce, really? Beyonce, really? What is the political message here? What is it they are trying to convey here? A salute to what? A group that used violence and intimidation to advance not racial equality, but an overthrow of white domination? The Black Panthers, for those who don't know, were critical of Martin Luther King's non-violent civil rights movement. They didn't believe in change through peace. They promoted violence instead. You want to know who else was dissatisfied with how things were going? Who also didn't believe in change through peace? It's a group with whom I hope you're aware. A group who decided to use violence as a means of political change through will and force. That's right, our awesome founding fathers, men like George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Alexander Hamilton, just to name a few. These men all advocated for violent revolt against the legitimate established power structure at the time. So congratulations, Beyonce. You made your statement. You should be proud of yourself. The Super Bowl, the most watched event on television, a game that brings Americans of every color, background, and political party together, a game where black fans cheer next to white fans, a game where teammates work together as one regardless of race, a celebration of diversity rooted in a common bond. But forget that. These privileged Hollywood entertainment types are really something. Beyonce didn't reference the Black Panthers to bring about some kind of positive change. She did it to get attention. Let's, let's get one thing straight, Tommy. Beyonce didn't reference the Black Panthers, period. My guess is, Tommy, you wouldn't have had any idea that their costumes in the halftime show were a veiled homage to the Black Panthers if the person who wrote the copy you're reading from the teleprompter hadn't told you. Also, why the outrage about those costumes? Where's your outrage over these onstage costumes and images? What about clowns like Ted Nugent and Kid Rock? Just to name a couple. What peaceful means was undertaken by the Confederacy when they acted as traitorous cowards against our great nation? Good for you. You made headlines. You, just like President Obama, Jada Pickett-Smith, Al Sharpton, and so many others, just can't let America heal. Can't America heal? Goddamn. What do you have to heal from, Tommy. The healing in this case doesn't need to, or can't for that matter, happen on white people's timetable. In case you missed this day in history class, Tommy, blacks in this country were owned by whites, like property, like tractors or cars or animals are owned today. Also, up until just a few years ago, things were inarguably terrible for blacks. So shut your white 
privileged mouth about healing. You need to be far more of a listener and run your mouth far, far less. Try choosing empathy over judgment and hate. Keep ripping off the historical band-aid. Why be a cultural leader when you can play the victim, right? Guess what, Beyonce? White people like your music too. White people buy your songs on iTunes, memorize your lyrics, and admire your talent and beauty. Little white girls want to be like you just as little black girls do. But instead of recognizing that, you would rather perpetuate the great battle of the races. <laughs> so, so what are you saying? Every one of Beyonce's song has to be about every little white girl likes my music. All the little white girls love my lyrics. It doesn't make any sense. And also, you don't get to dictate to blacks when they should use their voices for activism shining the light on racial injustice. Y you just don't get to do that. Your husband was a drug dealer. For 14 years, he sold crack cocaine. Talk about protecting black neighborhoods. Start at home. <laughs> oh, and as an aside, let's talk about Jay-Z, who didn't even perform. What did any of that have to do with any of your preceding drivel? Oh, do you mean... He's beaten the odds and turned his life around and created jobs and prosperity for probably thousands in this country. Yeah, you're right, Tommy. Fuck that guy. Those are my final thoughts. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless America. And take care. Take care to you too, Tommy. Take care. Hey, thanks for joining us. That was awesome. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also the podcast wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, wherever. Thanks a lot.